All right, Shalom, Shalom. It's the brothers from the GMS from Klein Camp back from another video. Before we go any further, we've all praise on their glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Baha Hashem. Baha Hashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Baha Hashem. Baha Hashem. Rukach Wadash. Rukach Wadash. Double honors the apostles of elders of great millstone for teaching us for sent truth according to Byron Well and peace and blessings so for like the nation of Israel take through the spirit and power of Yah by Shema Shai. When we want to get into the Lord's will and edifying blessing, warning our people on the day of the Lord. You see? And we're gonna get our first priest up, uh, Joel two and one. This is Joel chapter two, verse one. It says, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Yeah, so we're blowing the trumpet. We're sounding an alarm, you know, to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, letting them know what? Go ahead. It says, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Mm -hmm. For the day of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua coming, for it is nigh at home. That's right. Blow you the trumpet in Zion, sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. So what? How are we blowing the trumpet? By crying, by crying aloud, sparing not, lifting up our voice like a trumpet. You see, which we're, we're, we're speaking the words of the Lord. We're singing this song. You know, we're, we're, we're proclaiming. The great and terrible day of Yahweh Shema Shai that is near is near and is hastening greatly. You see, in the day of the Lord entails of what a lot of judgment, you know, and you know salvation as well. You know, miracles being done, but the 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 reason why you know the the as the left hand gets tightened, you know, the Most High brings judgment on the left hand. You know, you know for people's evil, He's going to bring judgment on the right hand by bringing salvation. You know, what part of judgment do you want to be upon? That should be your question, you know. And right now, you have the true believers of Yahweh Shema Shai trembling because this day is fastly approaching. As we tremble, you know, get Psalms 2 and 11, Shah. All right. <coughs> Psalms 2 and 11. You know, we're trembling, you see. This is uh, Psalm chapter 2, verse 11. Sir, Yahweh Shema Shai with fear. And rejoice with trembling. That's right. So we're rejoicing with trembling. You see? So it's good that we tremble at the judgments of Yahweh by Shema Shai. So that way we may be uh, persuaded. You know, get Second uh, Corinthians 5 and, uh, 5 and 10 in verse 11. That we might be persuaded to, to stay upon this path. You know, that we might be persuaded to uh, stay you know, trusting Yahweh by Shema Shai and fearing Him. Because that's what's needed. Our people need to learn to fear the Lord, you know, and that's the warning, you know, to fear Yah by Shema Shai, you know, or be caught up in this upcoming destruction that's fastly approaching, you know, you're either going to learn or you're going to burn, and we're looking to, to fear the Lord now, but the Heavenly Father, He demands that you fear Him, you know, go ahead. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 10, we must all appear before the judgment seat of uh, Hamashiach, that Everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that <clears throat> he selected, according to that have done, whether it be good or evil. That's right. So whether it be I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Like it. it says whether it be good or bad. Whether it be good or bad, you see? So judgment is coming. Yahweh Shai, judgment has been given into his hands. He's about to come and execute judgment upon the earth. And he's going to be executing judgment in these last days. You know, upon the wicked doers. You see, so uh, judgment has been given in Yahweh Shai's hands. That's why Sir said, kiss the sun, at least he'd be angry. You know, in, in the day of the Lord, when Yahweh Shai, you know, it, you know that's, that's a buildup. It's not just one day. You know, it entails the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, and then ultimately when those missiles are shot off and Yahweh Shai cracks those clouds. You see, so it's a build up. You know, you want to make sure you're getting yourself right. You know, that's that's the message to get right. That's the warning. You know, we're warning our people about this dark and terrible day. Go ahead, brother. Keep reading. Verse 11, 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. It says, knowing therefore the terror of Yahweh Shai, we persuade men. Yeah. 
knowing the terror of the Lord. So we know the terror of Yah by Shemashah. We know the power, the might that the Lord has. You know, and that's why we out there blowing the trumpet, giving our people warning. You know, this is a labor of love, us going out there in the highways and byways in the dead of winter. You know, but these guys are, oh, you guys don't go to the chief place. You guys, you know, these guys don't realize that the message is that death and destruction is coming. You know, that destruction is coming. You see, and, and the message is to get right. That that's, that's, that's what matters. You know, destruction is coming. It's inevitable. Judgment day is inevitable. Are you going to get right? And we know these things. And we threaten you. That word persuade goes back to threaten. We threaten our people with the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai, with the judgments that are coming. You see, that's what we're doing. We're threatening you with this knowledge. You know, the knowledge of the future, the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. You know, we're not here to push uh, 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 selling fringes on t-shirts. You know, we're here to push the prophecies of Yahweh by Shema Shai, and that judgment is coming. Go ahead. It says... But we are made manifest unto the Most High, mm -hmm. and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. Yeah, yo, this is a labor of love. We're sincere in this thing, in this warning, in blowing the trumpet of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You see, we don't have no malicious intent. Intent. You see, Ezekiel seven twenty five, brother. You see, the the message is cold, cold, cold clear. Tremble. You should be trembling right now. You shouldn't be in that spirit of party and mirth. You should be trembling. Yahweh by Shema Shai. The Heavenly Father is about to send Yahweh Shai back. The Heavenly Father is about to send his left hand sword, you know, to, to, to come and persecute and to put the to, to slaughter a lot of you wicked Israelites. You know? Will you not fear the Lord? You know, O foolish and rebellious house, will you not fear Yahweh by Shema Shai? Will you not tremble at the warning that's going forth? Go ahead. It says, Ezekiel 7 and 25, destruction coming, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Yeah, right now our people are seeking peace, but when that destruction is coming, you're going to be really seeking for peace. But the the peace, you know, that Yahweh has given us, not as the world giveth, you see, the Lord has given us peace via this via this comforter, via the Holy Scriptures. You know, and we're supposed to be resting in the will of Yahweh by Shema Shai, coming to grips. You hear, you know, a lot of people, oh, th everything that has happened will happen. You know, a lot of people say, you know, everything happens for a reason. But then they can't get over the traumas that are happening in their lives. You see, that, that means what? That they're, they're, they're at a disconnect of what the will of the Heavenly Father is. You know, we have to tell the people to declare unto them the will of the Heavenly Father. Either you're going you're gonna to submit to the will of the Heavenly Father, or you're going to try to rebel against it and do your own thing, and you're going to be destroyed. You know, the will of the Heavenly Father for you Israelites is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. You see, but only the elect is going to repent. Only the elect is going to come back. Read it one more time, and then we'll close down Amos 5 and 18. This is uh, Ezekiel 7 and 25. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Destruction cometh, and you, Jakes, are going to be out here seeking peace. But the peace is now. The comfort is now. You know, there ain't going to be no peace. There ain't going to be no comfort. There ain't going to be no solutions. The solution is Yahweh Shai. You see, the physician. The solution is Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Calling upon that name. That's the solution. That's your way out. That's how you're going to be delivered in these upcoming days. You see, trusting in the Lord, repenting, turning back, believing on Yahweh Shai, believing on Yahweh by Shema Shai. You see, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, by Shem meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai being in, uh, is the name of His only begotten Son. You see, meaning He saves, He delivers. You know, who the world alien calls Jesus Christ, and He's our, he's our Savior. Go ahead, brother. This is uh, Amos 5 and 18. It says... Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. You see, if you're not doing that which is right, you know, if you're not doing that which is lawful and expedient, you know, all things that lawful are not expedient. If you're not doing the things that are expedient for you in your walk, you see, if you're not uh, uh, pleasing you, then woe unto you if you desire this day. Go ahead. It says... So what end is it for you? Yeah, for what end is it for you? 
you know? And if I didn't say earlier, Yahweh, the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, it means he is or he to be. You see? So what's going to be the end of the day of the Lord for you? It's going to be what? Destruction. It's going to be other chaos. Death. Go ahead. It says, the day of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the day of Yahweh is darkness and not light. The day of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is a dark day. You know, a day of distress, a day of anguish, a day of anxiety, a day of death and destruction. You know, it's not a day of a, 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 a oh, happy day. It's not like that. Go ahead. It says, as if a man did flee from a lion in a bear man. So the day of the Lord is likened, you know, you going outside your house and, you, and you, you're now, now you're fleeing from a lion. You know, pretty much you're you're in the situation to where your life is on the line. You know, and then you hit the corner and you, you go from one dire situation to another dire si situation. You know, you, you hit the lion and now, 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 now that was a bear. You know, oh, I've had, I had, I've had bad days, you know. Well, have your life been on the line and when you feel like you've, you've, you survived, do you go from one, did another calamity happen? Hear this, you know, you stocked up food for this famine, you know, for this, uh, for this, for this collapse of the food shortages, and now what? Now, now you got niggas knocking at your door, you know, weapons, you know, trying to steal your goods, trying to take what you got, trying to take what you own. Go ahead. It says, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent did. Yeah, you think of a house, you think of it's a coverage. You know, oh, I'm safe here. You know, you lean upon, you, you lean your hand upon the wall. You know, that's you trying to catch your breath. You're trying to get, you know, get some rest. You know, get some ease. You know, you know, they got a saying in the restaurant industry, you got time to lean, you got time to clean. You know, so you, you, you running, you, you escape the lion and the bear. Now, oh, I'm good. You know, I'm in the house. I'm, I got some coverage. You know, now you're trying to catch your breath. And, the, and a serpent was in that house. And it bit you. Now... Now, now you're going to die a painful and agonizing death. You see? Go ahead. It says, Shall, shall not the day of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? Mm-hmm. Shall not the day of the Lord be uh, 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 darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? For, for the evildoers, for the wicked, so repent. Turn back before Yahweh by Shema Shai brings his harsh judgment upon you. Any more? That was all. Come on, with that we're gonna say Shalom. Shalom.